Texas is growing its investment in military families. Second Lady Karen Pence visited the state capitol to announce that the state is uh, now designated as a military spouse economic empowerment zone. KXAN's West Rappaport explains what that means. Military spouses are the home front heroes. Second Lady Karen Pence traveled to Texas to promote the expansion of a program that connects business owners with military spouses. The strength of our nation does not just come from those in uniform who fight to protect our freedoms. The spouses and families who serve alongside also make tremendous sacrifices. Mrs. Pence was emotional talking about her own connection to military families. Military spouses are so special. I know that because the years where I get emotional, but we have one in our family. <laughs> and she's pretty special. I'm the proud Blue Star mom of the United States Marine. It hits home for Liz Larson, too, a military spouse of more than two decades. I've never forgotten the struggles that I had as a military spouse, finding meaningful employment. Larson helped create the first military spouse economic empowerment zone in the nation in San Antonio. She told me some reasons she thinks employers might stiff arm military families. The big one that we get from companies is that we're going to move, which is true. But especially in this day and age, I point out with millennials, people change jobs. Cities with military installations have traditionally been more involved in this process. This now opens the door for more Texas cities to participate. Our best practices in San Antonio, the best practices in El Paso, we can all come together in the state and work on every city in Texas. Wes Rappaport, KXAN News. San Antonio's first in the country military spouse economic empowerment zone launched last year. El Paso now has a program there too. So far a dozen cities and six states have created similar programs. Nationwide military spouse unemployment hovers between 15 and 25 percent, way above the overall rate of about 3 percent. The government is giving a big grant to an Austin nonprofit that helps formerly homeless veterans stay in their homes. Family Elder Care is getting more than $160,000 from the Department of Veterans Affairs. All that money will go to services like financial management and job searches. In the past, the VA has only funded finding homeless veterans a place to live. This represents an evolution in the strategy to keep veterans from going back to the streets. Family Elder Care helped keep Russell Moreau from becoming homeless three years ago. This grant will help the nonprofit help more veterans like Moreau. It, they helped me get started on the road back up, and it's, it's been a, a slope and steady climb since then. Finding housing for those that are homeless is important, but then also making sure that there are supports for those that are now housed and seeing them through that process. Three years ago, the city of Austin announced it had effectively ended veterans' homelessness, but Family Elder Care says more resources are needed to make sure that designation sticks.